order workout. So if you don't have a whole lot of time, but you want to get just a really good firm on your legs, we're going to do that. So take a few minutes, stretch out, because if you don't have a lot of time, don't want to take a lot of time kind of doing everything, but make sure that your legs are loose. We're going to actually start off with some weighted exercises. We're going to start off with some plie step backs. Now, I want you to just start legs a little wider apart and kind of pull your navel in, shoulders are back, and just roll it out for a minute. Make sure your big toes are in, stretch your legs out. So stretching your legs out, toes are facing out, and we're going to find little dips down. Now, as you're doing this, pull the shoulders back and kind of lift the torso up a little bit. Let's find 10 and nine, and notice how the knees feel. Make sure you're pushing back into the legs in five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and we'll lift that right heel. So just lift the right heel. Let's reach those arms up. Little ballet arms for 10, and nine, get down low. So let's get a little bit lower. Last five, and four, shoulders back, three, and two, and one. We'll do the same thing on the other side, so 10, and nine, and eight, and again, pulling the ribs in and up. Seven, or six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift and lower, lift, lower, lift. So squeeze the glutes through. So kind of a little pulsing through. Four, five, and four, three, and two, and one, turn those toes forward. So it's kind of like you have this wider plie. Now think about taking the hands just to the sides of the legs, and I want you to push the legs out. So kind of push into the hands. And as you do this, lean back a little bit. So you're gonna, almost like your body is up against a wall, and push the legs out and feel this push, pushing out, keep the big toes down. So these are really small, little movements. And we kind of fire up the glutes. Let's find 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, pushing out, four, three, two, one, little dip, little dip. Make these small and keep the legs pushing out. So keep activation in the sides of the legs. Get down a little lower if you can, and nice. So keeping the legs pushing out, keeping the shoulders rolling back, belly is in, and just coming down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna bring those heels in and out, in and out. So little small movements with the heels, in and out. For 10, nine, eight, seven, push, six, push, five, push, four, push, three, push, two, one, nice. Walk the legs in just a little bit closer. So hip distance apart, and we're gonna go down. Squeeze the glutes as you do this. So these are not big movements, but I'm really activating in the back of the glutes. So push, push. Reach the arms slightly forward, keep the legs super active. So again, pushing those thighs out, out, out. Now reach the arms forward, almost like you're coming into a yoga chair. But pull the bottom back. Draw the navel in. Stay here 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take the hands to the heart. Lean this weight over to the right leg and shift your weight into the right. Now you're going to lift the left. I'm going to step it back and forward, back and forward. Now if you need a chair, if you need a wall, anything to support yourself up on, you can. We're going to do this without any support, so we're working into the leg a little bit more. Push your weight back into the heel, so I'm not into the knee. And this left toe is barely touching, so I'm holding all the energy on the right. Let's go for five more. Four, three, and two. Last one, bring the toes halfway, a little dip. So all of it again is still in that right leg, really feeling these little dips. 10, nine, eight, squeeze the thighs, five, four, three, two, 
One, left toes are gonna come over, a little curtsy and back. Pull the belly in so you're neutralizing the spine. And this is all in this right leg. This left leg is really just moving a little forward back, a little curtsy, a little back. So a little curtsy, back. Little curtsy, back. Eight more. Seven, we're gonna stay in that curtsy, five. And four, push the weight back into that right hip. I know it's burning. Last two, stay in that curtsy. Last one, hold here, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the thighs, pull the left knee down as much as you can and really press it into that right leg. You've got five more and four, three, two, one. Come back so this feet are parallel, pull the belly in, squeeze both glutes, find those little dips. So bottom back, reach and reach. Now pull the belly in, little neutral on the spine, reach the arms forward, find that chair, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, equal weight legs, four, three, two, one, left leg is gonna shift that weight over, maybe hands to the heart, start stepping the right back and in, back and in. Now push more weight back into that left leg, I <laughs> know, finding unstable, press your left big toe down, pushing that weight back into the left hip and get that left hip as low as you can, eight more. Seven, six, five. Get lower on that left for four, three, two, one. Step it halfway, little squat. So lower down, pushing that weight back into the left hip. Keep getting lower, pull the belly in. You've got 10 more and down. Eight, down, six, keep going. Four, we're gonna find those curtsies. Three, and two, and one. Step it left and back. Now I'm not leaning over this left knee. I'm shifting the weight back into the left heel. And the left leg is doing all the work. We've got 10 more, and nine and eight, getting low, seven, six, five, four, we're gonna stay on that curtsy, three, stay to the left side on one, and two, and one, hold here and squeeze. Push the weight back into that left hip. Lean a little bit into this left hip. Keep that left big toe down. Let's go 10 and nine. Now pull the right knee down for five, and four, three, two, one. Find those legs together, lower down. Now we're gonna add our weight into this. So if you can, add your weight. You're gonna grab onto your weight, and then again, lower down. So I'm stepping into this right leg, shift the weight over towards the right side. We're gonna step back, so lower back. Now you're gonna notice I'm not leaning back into that left leg. It's stepping forward and back. I'm adding the dimension of weight. So now that you've found balance, now that you know that right leg can do the work, we're just adding a little weight to it. Last five. And four, and just try to touch with the big toe if you can. Three, and two, and one, Bring it halfway, little pulsing back. Now you can try to rise to the left big toe so all the work is being done on that right leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Little curtsy, back. Little curtsy and back. And again, pushing back into that right leg, drawing the left knee down. These aren't big movements, but I'm sweating. These are hard, four more. We're gonna find that curtsy. Three, and two, and one. Find that curtsy, squeeze thighs together. Lower that left knee down as much as you can. Lean the torso just a little forward, putting a little bit more emphasis on that right thigh. For five, 
four. We're gonna hold three, two, one. Get that body up, twist as far over towards the right side as you can. Lower, lift, squeeze, squeeze. So as I come back together, I'm squeezing those inner thighs on that little lift. These are really hard. Eight, seven, squeeze. You can have a ball between your thighs for four, three, two, one. Coming back to the center, find your balance, little pulse here. So lower, these are small, squeeze the glutes. Activate, lift the ribs, taking tension off the lower back. Left leg is going to do the work, shift the weight into the left. In three, we're going to step back. In two, and one. Let's step and in. So step and in. Again, keeping it in that left hip. Eight, seven, get as low as you can. And six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it in halfway and pulse and pulse. Now see if you can start pushing just to the right big toe. That left hip is doing a lot more work and lighten up the right leg as much as you can. See if you can even make it float off the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Find this little curtsy and back. Keep it in pretty narrow. Draw the belly in so you're protecting the lower spine. So you've got eight, back, seven, push into that left hip, and six, woo, five, I knew, short and intense, four, and three, and two, and one. Find those curtsies, lean a little bit forward, pushing that weight into the left hip. Squeeze the thighs for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Come up a little bit, holding that. Now lower, squeeze, lower, squeeze the center of the thighs. So squeeze and lower, squeeze and lower. For six and down, five and down, four, three, two, one. Oh. Step forward. All right, I know those are intense. Okay, so grab on. If you have maybe a light band, if you have a heavy band, you can grab onto this band. We're gonna open the thighs. So mine is a medium. You can use a heavy band if you want. I just want you to make sure you're not over pushing with the knees. So we're gonna find again that wider squat and tuck the tailbone so the spine is really straight. Now take the hands to the sides of the legs and push the legs out. These are not going to be big movements. In and out. In. Now I want you to walk the feet out a little bit more so you have a little more resistance. Lower down, little tuck of that tailbone. And out, in. Out, in. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold out, lower, out, lower, out. One more, lower, out. Hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven. Pull the belly and shoulders are back. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the legs out as far as you can. Get down as low as you're able. Then I want you to one inch push, 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 push. Now, see if you can tuck more of the tailbone. Sit up a little taller and maybe reach those arms up. Push, push, push. So keep pushing out. Keep the big toes rooted in. Push the thighs out, tuck the tailbone. Lengthen the ribs. Let's find 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, get lower, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, keep the big toes down, 6, 5, 4, we're going to hold on one, 3, and 2, 
and one. Lower, bring your hands to the heart. So just holding here, little tuck and back. Tuck and back. Now these legs are pushing out. So I'm staying in the resistance. In and out. Little tuck and back. Little tuck and back. Little tuck and back. For eight more. I know these are hard. Seven, six. Pushing those legs out. Five. Keep the resistance. Four. Oh, he's hurt. Three. And two. And one. Oh, straighten the legs. Nice job. All right. So keep those legs out a little bit. We're going to come down a little bit more. We're going to find that squatted pose. Keep the legs out. We're going to step the right leg out and in. So I'm going to just step it out and in. Find a little bit of a move on this left leg. Ten. Nine. We're going to keep it out on one. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Push the left leg out to the left side. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold this leg out and open the left. For ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold here. Lower. Lift. So I want you to push that weight into the right leg. I'm sorry, left leg. Left leg as much as you can. Pushing back into that left hip. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Lower here. We're going to reach the body over. So the whole body is over towards this left side. Draw the navel in. Stay here. Rise up high onto the toes. Now I'm going to lift the toes on the right just an inch. So lift, lower. Lift, lower. Ten, nine, eight. Finding balance on the right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring those legs back. Lower. Woo! Those are hard. I know. That left leg is really burning. We're going to do the same on the other side. So this time the right leg is going to be down. Left leg is going to move for five, four, three, two, one. One, let's step out and in. So stepping this leg out doesn't mean this knee is coming over. So I'm protecting this right leg by pushing the thigh like it's up against a wall. Let's go 10 more and out. Nine, you've got these. Eight, seven, really burning out that right leg. Six and five, push it out. And four, push that knee away. For three, and two, keep it out on one. And one, hold it here. So a little lower and lift, pushing all the weight into that right leg. Pushing back, rise up a little bit onto the left toes. We're gonna find 10 and up. Nine, eight, woo, seven, bring your knee up, six, We've got those push out. Just a moment. Four and three. Keep that right big toe down. Two and one. Hold here and out and out. So that right leg is pushing out a little bit. Let's find 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We're going to stabilize on one. You've got it. Four, <laughs> three, two, one, hold here, lean that weight over, see if you can rise up onto the left toe, all your weight is in the right leg, let's lift it up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, you've got it, get low in that right leg, push your weight back into the hip, five more, oh these are hard, four, ah, three, two, one, bring those feet down, straighten out the legs, walk the feet in a little bit. Okay, so your legs should be burning, your glutes should be burning. We're going to come down, do a little core work. So I want you to grab on to your block. Grab on your block, take your block between your shins. You're going to draw your belly in, lean your hands back. So try to get yourself up. If you want to take your arms out a little bit, that's okay. If you want to take a ball underneath you or even hold with your hands, I want you to think about that your back would be like if you were leaning up against a chair. 
and try to get the shins so the shins are up. Now, as I'm here, I'm squeezing the shins. So I'm squeezing the shins together. This is activating the lower abdominals. And if you need to, those toes can be down. Lift the chest, lift the leg. Toes and lift. So really be stationary in the abdominals. The body isn't moving. The arms aren't moving. Nothing is really moving here. So except the legs, except the knees and the shins. The toes are coming down, the legs are stationary, and even the shins are hugging towards each other. We're gonna find 10 more. And nine, hug the abdomen towards the spine, roll the shoulders back, gaze up. We've got five, and four, three, two, one. Bring those feet down and just roll yourself back and forth for a moment. All right, so lean back, press the toes back, reach the arms forward, lift the legs, and then touch, touch to the right, touch center, touch to the left. Now, if you can, lift the legs a little higher. So almost like I'm trying to get them up towards that same level and pull, pull the feet so they're coming towards the edges of your mat. And we've got eight more. Try to keep the body still, keep the gaze still. Nice, keep going. Four or five, side. Center, four, center, four. I know these are sets. Oh, these are cruel. And <laughs> three, come on, you've got these. Hug the abdomen to the spine. Last two. Come on, this is it. Last one, nice. Straighten out the legs, bring it in, hug it in. Straighten, bring it in, hug it in. Straight, bring it in, hug it in. If you need those hands down, those elbows down for support, you can straight, hug it in. Straight, hug it in. Last three, hug it in. Last two, hug it in. Last one, oh. Those are so hard. All right, so you're gonna bring your feet down. We're gonna do just a little bit of bridge work, not a lot of bridge work. So I want you to activate the bridge a little bit more by taking your weight and taking your band. Now, we're going to misalign the body. So I'm gonna have you bring this block underneath the right foot. Now, keep the band right towards the edge of the knees and lift your hips. Now, as you lift your hips, these weights are going to come to the hips. So you're going to lift up a little bit. I'm not going to take it so much that all my ribs come up. So it's just a little bit of a lift, and I'm going to lower. And I'm just going to do a lot of sets. Now, I want you to think about pushing all your energy into your right leg. Lift and lift, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So we're squeezing into that right hamstring. I know it's already a little burned out, but those glutes are really fired up. We've got 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, stay up on one, two, and one, little pulse. So when I pulse, I'm squeezing the glute more than I'm doing anything. Pushing firmly into the right foot. So push so firmly with the right foot. See if the left foot gets a little bit lighter. And this way, maybe see, can I come to the left toes? So just the toes are down on the mat. Little pushes, pushing up and up and up and up and up and up. Keep pushing. Now, if you need to take those weights down, totally okay. These are going to get a little tricky. So keep squeezing that right glute up for 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to go heel and toe. Heel and toe. Heel and to lift that right leg. Keep lifting up for five and back. Four, pressing into the right. Three and two. Come on, you've got these. Last one, left down. Lower, lift, lower, lift. So let's find 20 more of these. Press through the right foot. 
So that's gonna make the biggest difference on the glutes. Not focusing on the back and how much I'm pushing. Up, I wanna really push into that right foot. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold here, lift up. See if you can lift that left leg. Let's hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the legs down. Oh. All right, we have that other side. We're not gonna stop because this is the last thing we're gonna do. So pressing the lower back down, making sure your left toes are facing forward and your legs are hip distance apart. We're gonna lift up, activating through the left foot, lower lift. Now just a slight push into the outer edges of the thighs. So squeeze up. Now don't over fire the glutes by activating the glutes so much that you're not pushing more of the ribs down. So if you're feeling pain in the lower back, you might be over squeezing into the glutes and hurting the lower back. So push more of the ribs down. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six. Stay up on one for five, four, three, two, one, stay up. Baby pulse, start lightening the right toes. So getting up on the toes, pressing more into that left leg. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We've got those heel toes. Three, two, and one. Hold here and heel and toe and heel and toe and heel and toe. Five more, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, so last two, come on, you've got this last one. Oh, pressing down, lower lift. So we've got those 20, squeeze into the glutes and really push into that left foot. So as you push in the left foot, you're gonna notice that hamstring activates, but it's also gonna kick the glute max on. So fire into that left foot, really push, like you're trying to smush your block down lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up, see if you can lift that right leg up, holding there, lift that hip up as much as you can for five, come on, four, three, two, and one, oh, lower down, Woo. good work. Grabbing onto your knees, roll back, and forth. Take the backs of the legs. I don't know if you're like me, but your legs are on fire. Oh, good job. All right. That was your 30 minute bar workout. I hope you really enjoyed that. If you don't have enough time for a full one hour workout, this is a great option to kick on your glutes, really fire everything up. And um, I will keep posting these awesome videos. Keep liking, subscribing. Thank you so much for your support. And namaste.